The Sermon on the Mount is found in the Gospel of Matthew from chapters 5 to 7. In today's Gospel, we will hear the conclusion of the Sermon on the Mount in which Jesus gives a very, very practical lesson and instruction. In these verses, Jesus asks that the faith of an individual has to be a practical faith. If it remains at the theoretical level, if it remains at the verbal level, if it remains at the level of profession with the lips, it will do no good whatever. And even as he ends the sermon, this is what Jesus says to those who listen to him. He says, it is not those who say to me, Lord, Lord, who will enter the kingdom. Not those who say, but the ones who do the will of my father. And then he gives a lesson of what it means to do the will of the father of a person who builds the home on rock. And because the home is built on rock, because there is a solid foundation, because that person is constantly under God's care and doing God's will and seeking God's will, the home of that person will be strong. Storms might come, rains might come, floods might come, calamities might occur, there might be sickness, there might be tragedies, the plans might go awry, but the house will stand. Another person who merely recites Lord, Lord, whose faith is merely verbal proclamation, builds the home on sand. And because the foundation is not deep, because it is a superficial faith, because it is a faith which doesn't have depths and roots, when any calamity befalls that person, when any tragedy befalls that person, that person gives up, that person collapses. And so the Lord is calling us not to a mere theoretical faith, the theory of our faith, the profession of our faith with our lips will be after we have assimilated the Lord. After we have done what the Lord is meant to do. It doesn't come before. In other words, my verbal proclamation has to be a consequence of my action. In the case of Jesus, he first did and then he said, in most of our cases, we say and then do, or often we say and do not do. In order to be that person who builds the home on rock, we need to follow the instructions and the example of Jesus to first do and then say. Then there is a synchrony, there is a harmony between our words and our actions between our actions and our words, then we mean what we say and we say what we mean. Are you a person who professes your faith only with your lips or will your faith show in action today? How?